what's up everybody manual pedal here in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the new wahoo element roam v2 that's right this is the v2 model of the original and uh we're going to just chat a little bit about why i decided to swap out my old version one and go with the v2 and i also want to just chat about the differences between um this version and the previous version and also uh, how this measures up against the Garmin Edge 1030 that I've been using uh, lately as well, which I uh, recently uh, sold and replaced with the V2. So um, yeah, this is a, a full video breakdown of the new V2 Element Roam from Wahoo. And um, you know, just for this, you know, put it out there. I paid for this with my own money, just a disclaimer. Just wanna put that out there. Uh, not sponsored by Wahoo at all. So just want to get that out there up front, but let's dive in. So this is uh, an unboxing video right here. This is uh, brand new, just came right from the FedEx driver, just dropped it off. And this is the Wahoo Element Roam that I'm just taking out the box here. Um, one of the big reasons why I decided to go with this version and as an upgrade to the original version one was because of the color screen. They upped the bits. So we had a 16 bit color screen on the version one and this one has a 64 bit color screen which is awesome it makes a huge difference when you're doing routing um when you're doing you know take me to with the companion app and it's just awesome i love it you know the garmin 1030 edge that one has a color screen as well but you know honestly i feel like using that one for a little bit I actually took that out to my Girona, Spain trip when I bike packed on the Paranixus route for three days and I left the Wahoo at home <laughs> and, uh, you know, I wanted to test it out. I got it from a friend of mine and while it, you know, definitely stuck me to the route, it definitely, you know, I feel like it's a little bit harder to use than the Wahoo system. So depending on your ecosystem, you know, if you want something more simplified and minimal, definitely go with the Wahoo system. You know, I've used Garmin. I've been using Garmin for many years as well in the past. I recently was able to really dive into the Edge 1030 and I can honestly tell you, I'm going to be sticking with the Garmin watches, not their computers. Um, you know, I think of them as like the bar or the lounge. If you want the lounge, go with Wahoo. If you want the bar and it's just too much things going on, it's kind of crazy in there, Garmin's going to be your friend. But, uh, you know, I guess, you know, you can say the same for like Apple or Android, right? But like, you know, for sure, like Wahoo is a much easier, easier user-friendly system to use. So looking at the specs for the Wahoo Element version 2, we're looking at, you know, a 64-bit color screen, which is awesome, great for routing. We also have dual band GPS. Now the dual band GPS, as opposed to the version one that only had like no, actually just a, no multi-band GPS at all. So the dual band is gonna make it so that you could use two different frequencies with the satellites. And where that really comes in is when you're doing like say bike touring, or if you're like in the woods on a mountain bike, trail and you really need your route to stick to the trail you know that's really going to come in handy and it just really does like stick to the route depending on what you plug in um, there's not going to be many interferences so that's one of the great things about this particular model that i that really attracted me to it um also the buttons are are, are uh are lifted off of the actual unit itself before they were like embedded within the actual unit. So I found it a little bit hard to press when it came to shifting screens. So, you know, this is a lot better than the version one. Um, and I do want to just go back and say it didn't even actually have 16 bits, it only had like eight bits of color. So there you go, 64 versus, you know, versus eight. That's a whole bunch of, of color. So that's a huge bonus. Another thing is the storage. This one has uh, 32 gigabytes of storage, whereas the previous one only had four gigabytes of storage. So that's a huge bonus as well. Um, looking at the two side by side, I have the version two on the left and you can see version one, my old one on the right. You know, the color, it has like a little nice bezel around the actual unit itself on the new version two, which I like. It's a little shinier. Um, I can't say, you know, they're definitely the same uh, weight. They're like 93 grams, I believe in total. 
Uh, the logo is a little bit different, a little bit more. It looks like they changed the text a little bit to make it a little tighter. And also when looking at the displays, I turned them on and the copy, the text and everything on the newer model, it's a bit more modern. It's a little easier to read and um, it just looks a lot better as well. So that's one of the big bonuses with this particular model as well. Uh, what you're going to get with the battery life on the new model is 17 hours. Uh, the version one was also rated for 17 hours, but honestly, I feel like that one would die a lot earlier. And I've also heard reports of it only lasting about like 12 or 14 hours. But it also depends how long you're riding throughout the day and things like that. Um, another big change between the two units is the updated USB-C. So this one, the version two has the updated USB-C, whereas the version one only has the uh, micro USB. So that USB-C with a lot of things and technology, you know, going in that direction, that's going to be the better one to go with. Um, you know, Apple's already doing it. They're going to be migrating over to the USB-C. A lot of other organizations are doing it like GoPro. So it just makes sense, you know, that everyone just keeps everything universal that so that we can all use the same cords and not have to carry around too many different wires and and all that you know paraphernalia with us to charge up these little devices you know um yeah but other than that you know depending on between the two between garmin and wahoo i'm a huge wahoo fan honestly like the system is just much more user friendly it's easy to it's so easy to use and you know one of the great things about wahoo uh compared to garmin when it comes to rooting is the take me to when you're in that companion app it's just so much easier to use this instead of the um, Garmin when you need to take you to a route or a specific location where you do want to go home. It's just way easier. So I highly recommend going with the Wahoo if that's what you want. More user friendliness and, you know, overall, it's a great looking unit on top of that. If you don't mind push buttons instead of touchscreen like Garmin has, then I think this is going to be the one for you. But just wanted to share with you all my new unit from Wahoo. It's the version 2. Drop any questions you have about this in the comments below. And you already know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.